Join me as I search for adventure, tranquility, and a calming of the mind in nature. In the water, high in the hills, and even underground. Sometimes you need to get a little bit lost just to find yourself. Hello, welcome to another video. Up north in Lake District. I'm heading up over yonder, and then there's bigger ones beyond it. Where am I going? I don't know, so I've just got a rough idea of the area that I'm going to, and I just wanna, it's one of them. It's one of them. I need this, need it for the noodle. So I'm gonna get up there, hopefully get some sun in my eyes, hopefully do a bit of wild swimming, hopefully get a sunset and a sunrise. And I've got a new tent to check out as well. Three man, no less. Taking a three man up into the mountains. Not even attached to the outside of my bag. It's a special one this. I'm just at bottoms now, but I don't know what, what's gonna happen. I'm hoping for some adventure, so join me. Let's go. I do can. Murder! Coming through this gap Plateaued out, the views are stunning I'm not even going to point out where I'm going because it doesn't matter It doesn't matter because I'm just going everywhere Turn to page 32 if you want to go this way There's no path but I don't mind that, I'm not here for paths because then you find stuff like this. Puddles. Mountain ducks. Nice. It's a bit windy. See, clouds are moving quite fast. I don't know if I'm doing one or two or three nights. I've got no idea. I'll just, I'll know when I'm done, but I might do a night down there. Yep, yeah, come on, we're going down. Let's go. <laughs> don't do it, mate. made my way through all these rocks the rocks have given up a little bit it's grass now but there is no path I'm just freestyling it meandering exploring and then I'm gonna make a detour and go and find a little wild swimming spot that I've been thinking about for a while here I am just around that corner there's a plunge pool and hopefully there's some fish in there I can have a look at. Let's get in. Cause I don't think I care enough today. Celebrate on your own alone. Cause your thoughts are the only thing you own. Miss the number 45 Picked up a piece and drove past the street tonight Hope you all do it alright I've just been sitting here A little bit overwhelmed
because uh, it hasn't been, um, just hasn't been easy. I've found I've, life hasn't been easy in here recently, and it just feels good. It feels real good just to be out and. I can feel it making me better and I don't know if that's just cold water and I'm just buzzing because it's like I'm real happy but I know what it did last time like oh mate sorry fucking oh, idiot oh I know what it did last time and I'm feeling it again man I just feel that the cold but then the warmth of the sun I mean it's just pure in it it's just oh my god I sound like a raging hippie but I, it's just I need it mate I need it for me for in here and it's it just calms the turbulence a little bit and that's what this trip is all about. It's calming the turbulence. <laughs> right, I'm gonna keep me swim shorts on and uh, I'm gonna find somewhere else to dip, man, because I'm just enjoying myself. And then we'll go set the wigwam up. <laughs> hey. I've arrived. I feel I'm I'm here. And you can tell I'm here because I've got budgie smugglers on and I'm just ambling around in smugglers. And it took a while, it just took that it took that swim mate to I mean I felt like I was here. I sat up the top and I chilled there for half an hour and I looked at the views. I'm like, right, slowly getting there, getting there, shedding off all the the real world problems and everything like that and then then it's just just getting out of there it's like i left it all in there on when i was swimming it's quite emotional and now i'm fully i'm i feel feral i feel like i'm proper in the mountains now and there's no bigger sign to say you're in mountains than just prancing around in smugglers come on i mean yeah come on Come on, don't wait there, lad. Come on. You're embarrassed, aren't you? You're embarrassed. Embarrassed to be seen with me. In smug lords. <laughs> it's a bit boggy around here. Bloody thing. I can't tell you what. Look at that. It's just, I brought the wrong, I've brought me wrong little thing. It's all wobbly. And my camera keeps breaking on me, but keeps cutting out. <laughs> I think she's ready for knacker's yard, but we plow on. <laughs> if this, oh no, if this video just cut short, that's why camera's gone. Man, that was incredible, really incredible. Nature doing its just its finest. Hey, up there, it's been a while, man. It's been a while that since I've done something like this. Because normally I've got a mission, like I'm, I'm hiking big miles in the day, so sometimes I come out and just like to get lost and explore. And it's a different kind of outsideness. I don't know, that's not even a word, is it? You know, I'm not just like following my GPS, trying to get to a certain point by a certain time and crunch the miles. I'm just ambling, man, taking my time. Just to sit and appreciate it and oh, sink, let it, I don't know mate. There's no phone signal, which is just a joy. There's no phone, there's no beeping, there's no anything like that. There is no people. <laughs> it's blissful. It's absolute bliss. And it's just what the doctor ordered. Look at his bog foot up. For now we'll bog Myrtle it down here. Oof. Go for double dunkus. Whoa! Look at that! I've gone up to my waist. I've just stepped in here, and I've gone. 
<laughs> I've got to, I'm up to my waist, mate. Look. Can, you can't can you can you see? Look, I'm pa Oh my word. Look. I'm up to my How do I get out? Oh my god. Not good. Oh my god, I'm stuck forever! Oh <laughs> get out. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow! <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. All right. I have to go another way. I think Cause that is bog central. You just wouldn't think it, would you? Because my path, I've only deviated off, well, where is my path? I don't have one at the moment, but I feel like I should go in there again to show you what it's like. Right, watch this. I'll take the bag off. This is just an experiment, right? Hopefully, I mean, look. Oh, loads of midges are coming out. Look, um, don't do this if you, don't do as I, don't do what I do, okay? Because this isn't probably right, but watch this. Just walking along, minding my own beeswax. <gasps> <laughs> I'm real, I've gone further. I'm both like, there you go, you see? Stuck like this, this is how, this is how it ends. So, if you found this footage, please can you cobble it together for me? Uh, edit out that bit where I started malling after I got out of soup. And uh, can you just upload it, please? To uh, TikTok. Thanks. Right, and then you... I can't... Why did I do it? <laughs> it's science, that's why. Because, you know, teaching you, I'm at lessons. Wow, there's come here, you all just be mindful of where you're going because if you're a kid like that, ah, you're gone. If you're a bear and you're gone, or your dog's gone, or even you are gone because that takes some getting out, it sucks you in, sucks you off, right? Even more reason to go get in soup now. Stayed in there a bit too long. <coughs> long. Stayed in there a bit. <laughs> Voices all of it. <laughs> Stayed in there a bit too long. Fingers are freezing. Ooh. This is my spot. I'm having it. Each year, man, my digits, they get worse and worse. They shouldn't be. They're all gone a bit numb and painful. New fig wham. Big Agnes. It's the compact roll sets for bike packing. It's a three person tent. We use the two person for our long distance hikes, but now we've got a dog and we want a bit more space. The three person and look, it's not much more. I mean, that it, it's built for bike packing. So that's why, it, that's why the, uh, the poles are a lot shorter. So it can go on your handlebars like that. Let's get it up and I'll have a look at it. Just a little brief look at it because I, uh, I'm going to do a full review once I've used it. Oh, it's the Copper Spur HV UL3 bike packing tent by Big Agnes. <sighs> right, let's get it set up. Come on. We'll just do one of these. The dome away from home. Beautiful. Oh, 
That love makes sense, man. I can't feel my fingers, mate. I cannot feel my fingers. That loads of ventilation there. There's loads of cool features to this tent. I will do a full setup and review of it, and that'll be out soon. New bed, new bed. Who this? So it's my second time using Quilt, which is the Big Agnes Fusel Ultralight. I'm gonna use this a few more times. See if I get found out, then I'll do a proper review on it. I'll bang that on me uh, on my second channel. Trekology pillow. I've got the, I think it's called the Synergy Sheet or something, which is a thermo rest. So it just gives you a nicer feel. It's nicer to lie on. And that goes round the sleeping pad. And then underneath that, there's just me little thin foam thing which just gives a little bit of extra warmth and a bit of protection. And the airbed is the Zoom Ultralight by Big Agnes. I'll do a review on that on my second channel. I'll need to use all these things first, see how I get on with them. So I don't want to do a review unless they're, uh, unless I, I recommend them. I mean, it's spacious in here, man. My mini pump, which also doubles up as a, a lantern. I do have a code for this. You, I'll leave it below if you want. Look at that for a view from the boudoir. Not bad at all. And it is a three person, but it was nothing for me to carry that up here because the rest of my gear is pretty lightweight. So I've, I've had nothing hanging on the outside of my bag. Everything's been inside the bag. And to carry a three person tent and the ground sheet I've got as well, quite easy for all this extra space. Fantastic. Right, wonderful camp spot. Look at it. It's beautiful, mate. Let's get some food, don't go. Stove of choice for this one. The Soto Windmaster. The trusted Soto Windmaster. Could I even need a stand, probably? I'm almost a bit nervous now after uh, burning my leg. Got my clean canteen back as well. I left it at my mates for well over a year. It's good to be back. And the beauty of this thing, it's got a built-in ignition. So you get gas going, a couple of thingies and it's a whale up. And the lid, for these torques is brilliant it's got the air holes there so that steam can come out and then the handle if you lift it up slide it and then it can't go back down happy days now right i goofed last time not this time i'm going to use two wet socks because this handle gets hot i picked the handle up with i think i use this and there's little holes in it and it burnt my hands so I jumped and it went all over my leg. I've still got scars. So a couple of wet socks should do the trick. Another top tip with these. Uh oh, it's boiling. Quick. Never mind your top tips. Right, don't burn yourself. Nice and Out, out, out. There we go. Keep it calm, boy. Right, quick top tip. They've all got a sachet in there which keeps it, uh, keeps it, the moisture from uh, getting in there. And to get it out, if you just, if you just start, if you shake it up and down like that, it'll work its way eventually to, there it is. It always works its way to the top. So you just yank it out without having to rave around in, in there with your spoon. Top tip. Right, there we go. I'm sort of halfway down this hill, sliding down. But that's all. <laughs> See ya. Uh, pasta bolognese. Oh, my mouth's watering. <laughs> Why do I even bother? It's just food in it. It just looks like pasta bolognese. Google it. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a return to form. 
after that expedition food I had when I was out camping with Joe, this is well, why. That's a stone cold stunner. Don't get much better, does it? I'm sliding down hill, mate. Look. <laughs> so anyway, I want to talk to you about some serious stuff when it gets art to art. Come on. I've not been posting a lot on um, YouTube or Instagram or anything like that because I have just haven't been going on it, not been engaging with it, and just doing other stuff. Because even though like everything's brilliant, I've got a wonderful girlfriend, a lovely family, a lovely dog now. And it's one of them where you're like, oh, everything's great. I should be like real happy. And then out of nowhere, my brain just goes, nah. I was about these feelings. Shucks me into the dark side. I know my own way out of it. And it's, uh, it's this, basically this. <laughs> it's getting off social media, the internet, just phone in general. Cold water, eating clean, exercise, healthy sleep talking to people and uh, just positive affirmation just telling yourself you're the man and not being negative and keeping in a negative loop and anyone who's negative around you you just got to cut them out get rid i've started to feel better and um i've not been very consistent on here so i am sorry but i've got other things going on but i recently went to i went to cornwall i didn't make any videos but i had a great time and i I always take my GoPro and see anyway, just in case you see that mad thing. And uh, I caught, ah, mate, it was brilliant. Went with Fern and her family and stayed in Cornwall and just relaxing and chilling. Day one, full of excitement. I loaded my gun and then the band snapped. And it's as if the fish knew because look at this school of bass. I'd never seen so many bass and they were just all there laughing at me these were a school bass there's some whoppers in there as well i fixed my band and got back out the first place i checked was like swimming through lettuce soup but i persisted and then i pulled up on this little curve got size of car on that huh? look at that bigger than my hand huge um, I'm not going to get it out now because I'll never get it back into the net. Sort size of it, I thought, I'm not filming this, I'm just going to concentrate on getting it out. And I did it, a bit of an effort, but I got it out. The next day I headed back out, it was, the weather wasn't great, it was bucketing it down, it was dark, the sea was choppy, but I persisted, I was in there for about three hours, and swimming through the kelp, I managed to sneak up on this bass. It was pissing it down and choppy, but underwater it was lovely. I managed to see this compass jellyfish, which housed a school of little fish. And I just spent my time exploring, looking around, and then I managed to creep round a rock, and I got a perfect shot on a second fish. Happy days. And before I went, I was like, I really would love to be able to get some out the sea, go spearfishing and, and feed everyone. And it didn't happen the first time I went in, and then I went back. I caught the biggest lobster I've ever caught in my life. I did it justice as well, I, I cooked it up, we had it as part of a buffet with lots of different things. And then I roasted the shells and made a bisque out of the head and the shells and the claws and everything. I made a, like a lobster bisque soup sort of thing. And then I went back the next day, caught a couple of bass and then put them in it as well. So two days worth of food, I was able to feed people for two days. and it. It was such a good feeling. It was just another one of them levels up, you know, out the dark. Another, another run on the ladder out of the dark. And, uh, and this feels like it as well, man. This just, earlier on today I was swimming and I got out and, well, you'll have seen it. <laughs> you'll have seen it. But it's just little things, man. It's just little things. And if anyone else out there is struggling with the old noodle, you know, everything can be, seem to be perfect on the outside and you might be kicking yourself being like, well, I shouldn't be feeling like this and almost ashamed of yourself, but it's fine, mate. You know, the cheese slides off the cracker once in a while for everyone. So don't be too hard on yourself. Just know your way out of it and take your time. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm still in it. I'm still, you know, working on myself and that as I always am, but 
I feel better now and I'm gonna try and be more consistent on here with my uploads and stuff if I can um, be more you know get on Instagram and I won't engage as much I'll just post and ghost I think that's the healthiest thing in a few days I'm off out with Joey D and we're doing the like wake walk it'll be the furthest I've walked in a wanna it's definitely the furthest Joe's walked in a wanna and we're doing it for charity and I'll uh, I'll leave a link to the just giving page below it, don't go mental on it just if you can afford a quid that would be fantastic um, but uh, I've written a little blurb on the just giving page so if you want to go and have a read and chuck us a quid that would be fantastic I'm eating this talking to you and got some beautiful scenery that way so I'm going to turn you off and enjoy the rest of my spag ball getting thick with midges I'm getting bitten I'm getting eaten alive <laughs> hide time to hide because the quilt is a summer quilt and it's quite thin I've got my down trousers on as well and these make it a little bit warmer I mean I was warm last time I kept in this setup but I was in the woods um, and now I'm up tops so we'll see this is the test and I'm pushing it with this time of year but it's been a nice day so hopefully I'll be all right. Mosquitoes trying to get in as well. I've got mozzies and midges all outside. Can't get me. You can't get me, it's spacious wigwam. And new airbed. I just, you know what? It is super comfortable. I've just been um, just a thermo rest guy. But having this, uh, having this square one, I've been able to just push my legs out further, it feels very luxurious for the weight of it time will tell i'll leave links below to everything that i've that i've used on this trip below you can check it out if you want Cause when you travel light, some things are left behind The end of the world at the palm of my hand When it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? My face to the sea and my back to the land Morning glampers. Slept well. I was on the edge of cold, but not. I still slept. I've even had a little sleep in. Look, because once the sun came up, I was like, oh, that is nice. Back to sleep for a bit. Zero condensation. I even had the doors closed. That's a tick from me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a morning swim. In fact, come on. Grab shorts. I don't even need to put my socks and shoes on, do I really? Just go for a little walk. Some wrongs I need to right. Let me get down here first, because I'm in bare feet. I've got no, the old bare feet are as grippy. I don't want to stack it, first thing. On a recent hike I did with my mate, Joseph Von Butter Biscuits. I did like a dive into the water and um, I put it on Instagram and then uh, a lot of people were giving me, I think the overriding score was six out of 10 and i was very critical of myself i gave myself six out of ten as well um the reason why is because i mean regard eh? somebody else to help themselves on the that hurt. and there it is but the reason why is just a lot of people were saying that I didn't hold the pose long enough and that 
I bottled it because obviously I was going to slap the water so I just bottled it and you're right I did bottle it I have got two excuses one was that I'd burnt my leg pretty badly on boiling water the night before and I was aware that it was going to work that it was going to slap down on that and two that I was just scared so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try down here to, oh it's colder today it's all this colder on the morning it's had all night to sort of chill out so anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and recreate that that dive and hopefully get more than a 6 out of 10 that's my goal because you have to set goals in life and you have to achieve them goals and I'm going to try and hold the pose for as long as I can I will probably bottle it and I'll probably be coming at you with a 5 out of 10 here now that I've said this but you know if I cut to like a swimming montage or whatever please you know be aware that I'm trying my best Ooh. Is it deep enough is it? Look how clear it is man Off here into there Ouch <sighs> Right Let's right some wrongs I'm even going to keep shades on as a just extra style points Because if I get a 6 out of 10 but I do it with shades on That's got to make it a 7 hasn't it Throwing it far Holding your breath still you jump the fire yeah. Just sit and wait till You see me fly You know they'll never catch me for it You see me fly The way I put my finger on it You see me fly You got it Don't try to tell me you got the wrong guy You see me fly You know they'll never catch me for it You see me fly The way I put my finger on it how much colder it is on the morning glorious i'm gonna pack the wigwam up and then let's get up on one of these peaks and have a brew see some views there we go let's go crank out some miles to the fells the high fells so be it medic Blink. Come on, blink. Look, one of us has got a blink. I ain't going anywhere until you've blinked. So, yes, winner. Yeah, hey, mate, I know it's not even a path, but I want to come this way. So, that's it. Good lad, you don't have to move far. I'm not going to pounce. I ain't got a pounce left in me following you sorry i don't mean to invade your personal space i've just traversed around here through these rocks got a bit of a pant on pant and deck but yeah i've not been doing much filming because i gotta take such i've noticed when i've watched stuff back when i'm going to pill i'm like this and then there's this thing and and then it's got to be <laughs> taking real long pauses in between what I'm saying so I'm not doing much filming to save on me uh, my breath but we're nearly there we're nearly there I'm gonna find somewhere scenic and have a cup of tea let's meet down at the lonely lake before summer has gone away Swim out under a broken sky Cold sun colored with shades of white 
Wave goodbye to last summer Cold air coming away soon I've stopped, air my feet out starting to rub a little bit because it's so wet so I'm just going to dry them out and I need to preserve my feet because uh, in a few days I'm doing a I think it's about 46 miles in a wanna with Joey D so I need I need my feet to be in tip top condition look at this mate I'm not gonna have a brew because it's too hot so I'm just gonna finish off my water here I'm not gonna film anymore I'm gonna leave it here mate we'll uh, I'll say goodbye to you in the mountains thanks for joining me and Thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks for sticking along and again, I'm sorry that I haven't been putting many videos out and stuff, it's just, I've got to do it when I feel like I've got, I can, I can do it, otherwise I'll just dilute myself too much and nogging goes, so I feel a lot better now and I'll start uploading a bit more regularly, but I, you know, don't be surprised if you don't hear from me for another few weeks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm working it out slowly but surely and then I'll maybe do a video of how I worked it out and the results See if anyone's interested in that How to get yourself better. I know like I've made a video before about how to get out of a rut and I'm doing it myself, but it's I guess the thing is how to stay out of a rut in it? it's how to stay how to maintain a level and not be like like cycles is what i'm on cycles of like everything's brilliant i love it i love it i love it i love it oh my god i want to bury myself at the bottom and see i can't i love it i love it i want to do everything i, want to, I can't do anything nobody look at me nobody talk to me like ah but the cycles get slower and i spend more time at the top if that makes any sense uh, <laughs> So anyway, uh, if you want to have a look at what me and Joey D are doing next, I'll leave the Just Giving page down below. Um, as I say, don't go mental on it. Just a quid, if you if you can spare it, a quid's more than enough. Um, it's just to raise a little bit of money. There's a blurb on there and the reasons why we're doing it are there. So if you want to check it out, please do. And that's it, mate. I shall leave you. I've really enjoyed this one. It's been a, <laughs> look, it's been an absolute beauty. And I'll leave you from this wonderful vantage point. And I shall wish you nothing but love. Bye for now. Got the wrong guy